Hey guys, it's Gear Change here, back with another install video. Today I'll be installing a short shifter for my XR5 Turbo slash ST. Uh, I've got a short shift kit here from OEM Denied, um, and I also got a little ratchet set from Super Cheap Auto. So with the ratchet set, I've got the little ratchet here, the mini one, and all these bits here. And I bought this Irwin Torx sort of bit from uh, Buddings Warehouse just to go in there. Um, from what I've seen online, it's uh, a little bit tricky to get in there and actually install all the pieces, especially this one up the very back down there. So hopefully that's enough length to um, to get the job done. If not, I'll just have to run out and get something else. But um, yeah, and I've also got some Loctite to apply just so none of the bolts come loose over time with shifting the car. So um, yeah, we'll get to it. Okay, so the easiest way I found to get the shift boot and surround listened it was to put the car in third so the gear knob is as furthest away as it can be and i basically tucked my fingers underneath this corner here and you can kind of feel where it grabs and you can pry it up um that's how i've loosened it under there so it's basically off i don't know how strong the tabs are i didn't want to snap any of them so i didn't pull super duper hard just hard enough where i could pop one corner and then get the rest of them um, next thing you have to do is obviously take the gear knob itself off and twist it carefully with the leather surround. So now to do the next part. So this next part was uh, a lot trickier than I thought it would be um, to get this off of the uh, ball joint there. Um, the trick I used was two flathead screwdrivers. Um, I had a bigger one on my right side and a smaller one on the other side. Um, it feels like you're gonna break it, but you won't. Um, just gotta use a fair bit of force to um, lever it off. And then up the back, I've got like a little torch here you guys see it up the back here um you basically pull the sleeve back um, let's see if i can point to it this one it's very hard to see but you can, you can kind of see it but you pull that back and then you kind of lever it up and it will pop out of its place so now that it's loosened i can show you guys the next step the next step is to add this bracket here i've added a slight dash of loctite just up the very back of where the screws will finally screw into um, just to make sure they don't come loose or anything. Um, it's just gonna go where the original piece there on the right, you can see it sits. So I've got to slide it over there and screw it into place. I might have to loosen it a little bit more, um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so I've got the little bracket down in there. Um, just kind of undid the screws to the point where I could slide it up and over and then tighten it up um, by hand this little thing here and then i use the little ratchet to give them a proper tighten up so they're in there nice and snug um now the only reason why i'm wearing a glove on this hand is just because i was trying to get the bracket up and over the little plastic hump here um and i didn't want to get any of the loctite on my hand as it can irritate your skin so just thought i'd point that out for anyone wondering why i'm wearing a glove just on the one hand um, yeah, now to add the other piece. So I've just disassembled this piece here just to show you guys um, the top half of the short shift kit. Um, you got this little ball joint here that replicates the one down there and you got two spots, basically the higher it is, the shorter the throw and you got kind of two placements. Um, for me, I don't want it super duper short, just a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna go for this hole here, put a bit of Loctite on this one here and also the four screws on the back. So just gonna dab a bit of that on and kind of assemble it somewhat and slide it down there and then show you guys what to do next. Okay, so I've put it on there. Um, didn't wanna try and record and put each and every bolt in um, as I was dropping my phone too much, but I've basically put it just above the stock one there. So it's not, you know, ridiculously short, but short enough. Um, I've got that one in there and I've got this sitting here. So I basically need to slide this back up and over see if you can zoom in, on that little ridge there on the red piece um, and then put the little ball joint piece wherever it's gone and, oh where is it gone here this little thing on top of this new one so I'll do that now and show you guys uh, the difference all right so now that i've got the bit up the back installed i'll put the torch here and show you guys 
So you're basically getting the black ring and there's like a little bit of a slip inside of it. Um, and you kind of just slip it over the red bit there. And then once you've done that, you can get the ball joint. Zoom it too far, there we go. Um, you get the little ball joint piece and pop it back onto here. Um, and then yeah, you can kind of see if that's exactly where you want it and whatnot. Um, and then the next step to do is to screw the gear knob back on and position it where it needs to go and then clip it back into place. All right, so there she is, um, screwed back into place. Um, just gotta be careful that you don't twist around here too much because you might damage some of the leather. That's it there. Um, hypothetically, you go first, second, third, fourth. Um, way, way, way shorter. It's exactly what you want. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got more content on the way, hoping to attend uh, Motoculture this upcoming Sunday and uh, get a few more parts on the way, maybe for the interior, maybe for the engine bay, who knows, um, also some performance stuff. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one and uh, thanks for watching.